What's up? It is writer director Nina Stacks, and I just interviewed with Next Up. They are lit, and so are we. So tune in the New Year, New Us on YouTube. Catch it every other Sunday. All right, Miss Nina Stacks, how you feeling today? How are you? Feeling good. Feeling great. Okay, tell everybody what you do. Uh, I'm a director, director of photography, writer, you know. What would you say your specialty is? At the moment, directing. Do you have a favorite film or movie that you've directed? Um, hmm, I like them all. But probably, um, I have a short called Six Shots that's coming soon. Um, probably my best work thus far. What would make it your best work? Um, we just went all out. I had a full crew and we just did it bigger than I'd done it before. And I was able to just do things that I couldn't do with smaller budgets and, you know, just able to go harder. How many body of works do you have out right now? Uh, I mean, if we're talking about like film things, mm -hmm. okay. Um, let's see, where we're at, four, five, six? Um, if we include the new web series, six things released. Um, I just started like a year ago, so. With film, anyway. <laughs> What's your favorite part about filming? Um, now that I've really gotten into like writing the dopest shit, I can curse, I can curse, the <laughs> dopest <laughs> shit now is like to have a script of like some shit you wrote and then you got these actors and they like, that shit just like hops off the page, that shit's amazing, like that is the best feeling, especially when they're dope, not like trash actors that like destroy your vision but <laughs> they're dope oh man it's like having a baby i don't i know i don't have any babies but i feel like it's me having a baby sorry <laughs> this technically is your baby it's my baby right now this is the closest i'm gonna get for a minute <laughs> i support your sister i'm here with you i'm right here with you i got so, stuff to do <laughs> <laughs> explain to me what the process is like with you writing um i'm gonna be honest i get an idea, and immediately hop up and write it. It never takes weeks and none of that. Everything I've written was basically written for the most part in a day. I'd get up and literally sit in front of the computer until the script is done just because I had the idea and I had to get out. It could have been two, three o'clock in the morning. Um, that's how this web series came about, that's how Smoke Out came about, that's how Six Shots came about, all written in one day. Of course, I did re revisions over the weeks and, you know, things like that, but it's not like I hear people be like, oh, I've been working on the script for 10 years. I'm like, what? Why? Like, you better get that shit out. Uh -uh. But I ain't got time. But that's just how I am. Like, I don't know. Like, when I get something in my head, I just got to do that shit. <laughs> Once that fire is lit, why put it out? It don't make no sense. I'm just, and I'm kind of artsy anyway, so it's like, food. You know, <laughs> like, I need to do it, so it's going to get done. <laughs> What's your favorite genre? Um, comedy. It's my favorite genre to watch. I like to make drama because I feel like people like to watch drama. And I don't feel like I'm that funny of a writer. But honestly, if I had a career path to choose, I would just make like Friday type of movies, like just like a stoner and like hood shit for the rest of my life, and just put it on Netflix. But <laughs> we can't do that, so we have to throw some drama, some crime stuff in there. But um, comedy is the shit. Like everybody needs to laugh. Like comedy, I would go down a black hole of YouTube comedy for eight hours, like, and it's amazing. You gotta laugh. So if I can, I'm work on my comedy chops, I might have to do a smoke out too. Do that. <laughs> I might have to start a smoke do out that. too on 420 again. 
I just gotta know if he ever got to really have a better day. But he suffered. <laughs> Why? He went through it. He really went through it. <laughs> I really enjoyed your soundtracks. Oh. How do you pick your music for your films? Um, so I just put posts out, Instagram, Facebook. But um in the years before I was doing this, I was on the radio. So a lot of people that know me know me from being a DJ. So it's lots of rappers and just talented people in general from the atmosphere I was in. So that kind of never goes away. So I've always kind of been able to connect with people that like dope music and stuff like that just from that. And word is spreading now. This last year, I guess, it's getting around a little bit. So I used to have to struggle try to find some. Like, please, somebody send me. Let me just go get some YouTube tagged up shit, I guess. <laughs> now nah, I got I get too many submissions, so I guess shit turned up. <laughs> What's your support system like? Um I got I got a couple friends that are solid. I mean like solid. There's only like three of them, but they're like fucking down. And it's really all you need. And then if you can get a cast and a crew that is just fucking with that shit, like, for the passion of it. That's all you need. Like, these guys that are with me today are fucking down. Like, that's all you have to have, like, a couple people that fuck with you. And I, one of those guys happens to be a sound guy, we got sound. Photographer, we got pictures. Like, it just happens to be that my friends are these people. <laughs> like, I, I can't talk to regular people. What are we talking about? I don't know. <laughs> That's all I do. I, don't, I like everybody I know does this, so it ends up being just this dope circle, and we're able to put out some product. I can dig it. <laughs> so if people want to be down with the dream team, how do? What's the process like? I mean, we are always down. Like we're always looking for PAs and just anybody who wants to be down. Like we are wide open. We are wide open. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're open. <laughs> just holler at us. Like, people, I don't know, some people be coming to us like it's, oh, like, I don't know, I didn't want to approach y'all. Like, bro, it's not that serious, bro. Like, come out. Like, we're fucking humble as shit. <laughs> like, we're humble as shit. So, don't, please, hit us up, DM us, whatever. You want to come out? I'm not paying those. I'm telling you, no, I'm not paying. But, <laughs> we're making dope stuff. You can have some IMDB credit. We're going to eat some tacos. And it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be fun. Everybody's energy is amazing. There's gonna be smoking and drinking, perhaps. <laughs> this is gonna be laid back. It's gonna be lit. And we'll get like some fire shit. So come. <laughs> How long does it take you to usually put out a project? <laughs> it's um it depends on when it has to be released. Um sometimes it's a day or two. Sometimes it's months. Six shots we shot in July. And I'm still working on it, it's just not there yet. This we shoot two or three days. <laughs> Turn it around, so it just depends. It just depends on what we're doing. But I can chop fast though. <laughs> I believe it. Especially when you love it. Oh yeah, this is what I do. I don't have a job. Like this is my job. I don't every day. Describe what your set atmosphere feels like. <laughs> a music video, maybe? <laughs> like a light, like a light laid back music video, like it's vibes. <laughs> no, it's just it's super laid back. Like we are not, I'm not using no technical terms or none of that. Like, I mean, we use some technical terms just to, you know, be professional with the shit. But I'm just saying, we, niggas is smoking weed, and niggas is pulling up late. This is what it is, but we're getting it done, though. That's <laughs> all that matters. Getting it done. Everybody's dope. See, but everybody's dope, though. You can't pull up and be whack late. You know what I'm saying? You can't. So everybody, everybody's on their shit, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because our vibe is our vibe though. Our vibe is our vibe. We gotta find somebody who fits the vibe and we all understand each other. We're good. You do have to vibe with your tribe. Got to. It's not gonna work. 
It can be one fucked up attitude over here just messing up the whole. Because we shot for 21 hours straight. I think they took a nap for two hours. <laughs> and nobody complained. Got it done. But you can't do that with everybody. No. That's not a thing. Something I've never experienced that. Serious. <laughs> Tell me about boomerang and then we're gonna get New Year New Us. <laughs> no, I'm just no, I'm just like a background actor in you know, Boomerang on um, BET. It's coming out, make sure you guys watch it. Written by Lena Waith, who's an amazing writer. New Wave, 80s babies coming through. Uh, but yeah, it's on BT and it is the story of the children from the movie Boomerang and them trying to like find their own way. And it has like, um, it has Drew from Everybody Hates Chris. I think he is Robin Givens' son. And it has Lala Milan, the Instagram comedian. She's hilarious on there. It has a couple other people on there, but it's gonna be really dope. Big premiere coming up here. Watch it. BT Boomerang, February 12th. Catch it. Alright, so let's <laughs> let's bring this full circle. Let's talk yes. about you. New Year New yeah. Us. Yeah, so um New Year New Us is a web series about a young married couple and their ups and downs, just um some regular life stuff. But um, it originally started as just like a short film. I just challenged myself to put out a project the first week of the year. Just on some like, get your momentum popping type stuff. Um, so that's what it was originally, just a short. It was like eight minutes long. And we put it out and um, it kind of was lit. Like people liked it and like, the actors surprised me at how good they were. So I was like, okay. And we just all talked and we're like, let's do some more. So I sat down like for two days and wrote like four or five more episodes. And now it's going to be a web series. And we're on the second episode, third episode coming up. Tune in, New Year, New Us. If you type it in YouTube, it's like the second result pops right up. Facebook, same thing. We lit. <laughs> Try to get lit. Nah, y'all lit. <laughs> Receive it. That already lit. Changing the game. <laughs> Changing the game. If you can, if these people need to find you, social media, where they can find all of your amazing stuff, <laughs> tell us where to do that at. Um, yeah, everything is just Nina Stacks, N I N A S T A K Z. There's no C in there. If you put a C in there, it's gonna be some weird porno shit popping up. It has nothing to do with what I got going on. Do not put the C in there. It's somebody else. Um, but yeah, just anywhere Google be Instagram, Facebook, all that will all pop up. Um, Onyx Theory Arts is my company. Um, and that has all my stuff on there. You can Google that, Instagram. It's all spelled normally. But um, yeah, catch New Year, New Us. My amazing actors are so dope. And it's about black people being in love and being dark skinned and being married. Because people on Facebook and Instagram act like it don't exist. And a man who's masculine and doesn't take shit. We don't see it on TV, so go watch it. <laughs> Thanks, y'all.